today we'll be looking at question number seven of chapter one, Intro, Structure and Properties textbook. So this is question number 47. And this is that a filled balloon is eight, and about 1.50 grams of hydrogen reacts with 12 grams of oxygen. So the question is, and that's determined grams of water vapor in this chemical. So this here is the chemical equation of the reaction that's happening. So we have hydrogen gas reacting with oxygen gas, giving us water vapor. Right. It's important to balance this chemical equation here. So I have done that. So we have four hydrogen gas molecules on the right-hand side of this expression. Right, two times four. Likewise, we have four hydrogen on the left hand side. We have two oxygen here and we have two oxygen here. So our is, is balanced. So after knowing what the mass is, we need to determine what the molar mass of these species are. So the molar mass essentially for hydrogen gas is basically the it's it's basically the sum of the molar mass of the hydrogen of the hydrogen at about 1.008 gram per mole. So the molar mass of hydrogen gas would be about 2.016 grams per mole, right? And the molar mass for oxygen, I'll leave you to do that, but when you do that, you should get around 31. Nine, nine, eight grams per mole. So that's a nine. Right, so 31.9 grams per mole. So we need to do moles of these species are. So you need to remember that the mole is given by the mass over the molar mass. So for the mole of hydrogen gas here, that's going to be given by the mass, which is 1.5 zero grams divided by the molar mass which is about 2.016 so it's a six grams per mole and that gives us 0 0.744 moles. All right, so that's the mole of hydrogen gas. And the mole of oxygen gas is the same thing, same expression here, mass of a molar mass. And we know what the mass is, the mass is around 12.0. grams divided by the molar mass which is 31.998 grams per mole and that gives us around 0 0.3 moles. All right, so now that we have the moles of each of these re reactants, what we need to do is we need to determine which reactant is a limit because the reactant that, that is the limiting reagent of this chemical reaction is going to give us the moles of the product that's going to be formed. So the limiting reagent is the minimum amount of species that reacts with the other product to give you the Sorry, that reacts with the other reactant to give you the product. So in this reaction here, 
if, for instance, hydrogen is a limiting reagent, we know that all of the hydrogen is going to react with the oxygen to give us water. So we can be sure that the moles of the water is similar or is equal to actually to the moles of the high limiting reagent, which is hydrogen. So we need to first determine what the limiting reagent is. And one easy way to do that here is to determine the amount of moles of each that react. So here we have this moles here is two moles of hydrogen. So when you divide this by two, you're going to get one equivalence of hydrogen gas here. And dividing 0 0.744 by two gives us, so what I'm saying is, so one mole of this hydrogen or one equivalence of this hydrogen gas is basically going to give us 0 0.372. moles of hydrogen, right? So what I'm saying is, so this is one equivalence. I should state that. So one equivalence of hydrogen gives us 0 0.372. And that amount of moles is less than one mole of the oxygen that reacts. So in this chemical equation here, we can be sure that the hydrogen is the limiting reagent in this because one mole of hydrogen, right, is 0.372, whereas one mole of oxygen is about uh, 0.375. Um, right, so 0.372 is the moles of hydrogen, right, for one equivalence here. And in order to determine the amount of water molecules or the water that's the water vapor that's formed here, we are asked to find what the mass is. So the expression for the mass, all you need to do is solve for mass here. And mass is given by the expression mole times molar mass. Right, so for the mass of water vapor here, we know that, remember we have two, right, two moles of this, right? So two times this limiting reagent here, or it's the same as this, two, two, right? So we can be sure that the mole of water vapor here is gonna be 0 0.744 moles, because that's the moles of limiting reagents that gives us our product times the molar mass of water. The molar mass of water is 18.015 grams per mole. You should check this. You should do the math. In molar mass of oxygen plus two times the molar mass of hydrogen. And that gives us around 13.4 grams of water vapor. So that is our final answer. It's chemical so action. The amount of water that we is thirteen point four grams.